Well, hi, Brad. Thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure, Oscar. So, Brad, recently you said publicly that, in your opinion, the euro will crash in the summer of 2010. Can you explain your thinking Let me behind tell you this? something, Oscar, and you should pay attention here. I'm only going to say it once, OK? OK. The euro was the craziest idea since the creation of Israel. How the hell was it ever going to work, huh? You got a bunch of countries, all talking weird foreign languages that don't make no sense to no one but themselves. Well, we do have interpreters, you know, if it's required. What the hell good is that? Have you ever been misinterpreted? Because I have. Ever read a Chinese instruction manual? Because I have. That's how wars get started, Oscar. Then you got all those weird people like the Germans with their leather pants and kind of hardcore porn disposition. The goddamn French, well, don't get me started on those slimy gay bastards. You got the Greeks and all that damn history that made them what they are today, losers. You got the Italianos, about as corrupt as a kosher pork pie. And then you Brits who dress like you got your clothes for Christmas from someone who thinks you're an asshole. And all those other countries I don't know shit about and don't want to because they're all weirder than that Jim Jaramouche movie, I'll tell you, boy. Europe is like a day room at a nursing home full of incontinental geriatrics talking about how fucking great it was when they could get it up. Incontinent? What? You said incontinental, you no, mean incontinental? No, I meant incontinental. It's a collective condition, okay? okay? So you got this fucked up continent all trying to do business with the same money. Well, I'll tell you, boy, money don't work like that. Money's an organic thing. It's the blood of modern humanity and it don't like leeches and it don't like bandages. Money likes to flow and grow and there ain't nothing like weeds to stop a selective plant species from growing. Sorry, I don't follow. I was using the selective plant thing as a metaphor for the euro and the weeds oh. being busted ass okay. countries in southern Europe who don't realize their peasant culture has become an exotic icon of the capitalist western dreams. But they would rather have the money too, right? Where's this concept going, Brad? I don't really follow. Down the pan, boy. And it'll drop out of Europe's ass faster than a homo's dump. And I'll tell you, the day you history junkies launched the euro, as my Aussie friends say, you were bang it before you bent over, mate. It's going to crash like a Gordon Brown smile. It just don't work. So what do you think we should do, then? you got to stop pussyfooting around and unite in the one big-ass country like the United States. One language, one government, one dream, one money. Then maybe you might find the truth lies in the future, not the past. History was written by people with an opinion. See, so you can't trust it. The future ain't written so we can make it up as we go along. And you know what? If I want to talk to Europe, I want to talk to one man. Whoa, Not woman. some foreigner pouncing around a Brussels cocktail party getting sucked off by several countries for that's, money. That's quite an uncomfortable image. Just telling you like it is, Oscar. So you're saying that Europe should become one big If you want this country. Euro shit to work. That's not going to happen, Brad. It simply can't. Europe is built on a long Let me history tell you of cult. Have you got any idea why we stepped in and stopped them crowds in 45? Well, it wasn't just you, actually. We sat back there for a while, just watching like a lion weighing up its prey. We figured Europe would be a damn sight easier to deal with if the Third Reich ran the show. The Nazis? And I tell you, if those suckers spoke English, we would have just let them take the goddamn lot. Hang on, you're saying that the United States would have let the Nazis take over Europe, killing Jews, You gotta remember, and... Oscar. Things get kinda hazy in war. Sometimes you gotta turn the other cheek and get things done. You should be grateful there weren't no way we were going to learn German. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's like, oh yeah, bombing Hiroshima was an act of genocide. Sure, but at least we stopped the Nips from taking over Asia and got them back to work making cars and electronic goods and stuff for us. Jesus Christ, Brad, are you saying that was American policy? Now you're being hypothetic. Hypothetical. What are you, a fucking spell checker or something? No, I mean hypothetic. Anyway, it didn't happen. Get over it. Right, so okay. Well, well, we seem to be drifting off the point. What if Europe then doesn't the do as Then the whole Europe will go into hyperinflation when the euro crashes. You'll all go back to your weird money and start fighting about shit like religion and culture and we'll have to come over and sort you all out again. Gosh, in the UK? Smartest thing you suckers did was keep the pound. You'll be okay. You speak our language. Stick with us and nobody will fuck with you. We like you. Oh, that's encouraging. You bet your ass.